Hey guys, how you doing? Today I want to talk about the PA cat. Sound familiar? Maybe sound like the M cat? This is a new test that PA programs are testing out to see if it will be a better gauge of a student's readiness to take on PA school and then the pants or the boards for PA school. So this is something relatively new that has come up this year and I wanted to go ahead and dress it head on. There's a blog post on the PA platform all about this today as well and you can get our application timeline download to kind of figure out where testing fits into your plan and the link in the description. So what is the PA cat? First of all, it's a test. And it's a test that was developed by a company called Exam Master and they've developed a lot of tests. There are some PAs involved in the research with this test, specifically at the University of Tampa, and they are one of the schools who's been trying it out. Now, before you get alarmed, before you go add it to your to-do list, this is not a test that you can currently sign up to take. This is something that schools are testing to see if in the future it will be a requirement. And I kind of think it will be for a lot of schools. Let's talk about why. So the PA cat is different than say the GRE because it actually tests knowledge. It's a three hour, 180 question test. Let's see if I can get all these. Covering anatomy, physiology, biology, microbiology, biochemistry, general chemistry, organic chemistry, psychology, sociology, statistics, medical terminology, and, oh gosh, I gotta cheat. Ethics. Yeah, so it covers a little bit of everything and most of what is considered prereqs for a lot of PA programs. Now, this is different because the GRE is just a strategy test. It tests your basic math skills, your vocabulary, but that doesn't really say anything about how you're gonna perform in PA school. I see the PA CAT as an option for schools to try to standardize applicants a little bit more because everyone has different education levels. You may go to a university that's extremely difficult and have a lower GPA or lower grades, but you know the material and you had really, really great education and that would show up on the PA CAT, hypothetically. On the flip side, maybe you had great grades, but you went to a school that wasn't really that difficult and that knowledge you got may not translate into being able to apply it to PA school the way you need to. So this would help to kind of standardize things. At the end of the day, it's a test. There will be study materials available to help you to do well. Now with the PA CAT, as of right now, like I said, it's only in testing. So right now it's being offered at some interview sessions with no decision potential. So it doesn't make a difference whether applicants get in or not. It's strictly a test. Um, and then at some orientations of PA programs where students have been accepted. And, you know, it's in its research phase. I read through the whole research proposal and they're starting with, you know, these preliminary tests. They're going to test again after the students have been in school for a year. And then after graduation and looking at pants rates and seeing how things correlate. So there's a lot that goes into this before this test becomes standardized. It's not something you'll have to worry about for the next at least one to two years, probably a little bit more. But it is something to be aware of if it comes up in your interview or um, at an orientation session. Just know the purpose behind it. It is different from the GRE. It is also different from the CASPER test. The CASPER test is more focused on testing your decision making and empathy skills, which they've incorporated a little bit into the PA CAT. So I almost see the goal as replacing the GRE and the CASPER test and making something that is just specific to PA school. And a lot of other graduate programs have this, the MCAT for med school, the PCAT for pharmacy school. So it's not uncommon and I'm actually a little surprised it took them this long to get here. But I think one of the problems is there's so many varieties in what schools are looking for. So in pre Recs and what they require. Um, and so I think that makes it difficult to come up with a test that's going to be considered fair and going to be adopted by a majority of programs if they aren't necessarily offering or asking for the same prereqs. So do you need to worry about this? Not right now. Again, just something to be aware of and just kind of be on the lookout. If you see something popping up about the PA cat, 
that's what people are talking about. We have a blog post if you want to get more in depth, get some links to figure out more about it. And yeah, I would love to hear your experience in the comments. I actually went to Instagram and asked some people who had taken the test what they thought. And, you know, overall, everyone said they thought it was a better judge of what you know than the GRE and more appropriate for PA school. There were a couple of people who had been out of school for a while and they said it was difficult. But one person said theirs was very chemistry heavy. Another person said very A and P heavy. Um, anatomy and physiology and very specific anatomy questions, application questions, like if you injured your ankle in this way, what tendon would be injured? Which I don't think I could answer these days. But um, they did, you know, feel like it was something that could potentially be helpful in the future. So I hope that gives you a little insight into the PA cat. Check out the description for a link to that application timeline where we talk about when you need to think about these tests, including the GRE. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. See you guys next time.